Yeah, okay, so great question. Roth TSP versus Roth IRA. So Roth, same concept, right? You put money in the Roth TSP or Roth IRA in post-tax dollars, after-tax dollars. So you're, you already paid taxes on it, and you put money in the TSP and Roth IRA. TSP has limited investment options. So you have the CSI funds. Those are all stocks, right? Uh, you have this C fund would be the S&P 500. S fund is the small, medium cap stocks, uh, much more volatile. And then I would be the international funds, okay? They also have two more mutual funds and bonds, G fund and F fund. And if you hit... Forty thousand dollars in threshold. You could you could do what's called a mutual fund window in the TSP. I haven't tried it. I heard they're expensive. I did read that they're expensive. I'm gonna read more into it. But a lot of people have told not a lot of people. I, I would say a few people have told me that that they don't really recommend uh, doing the uh, mutual fund window because the CSI G uh, F funds or the target date retirement funds or the life cycle funds are much cheaper than the other actively uh, managed mutual funds. So Roth IRA, on the other hand, so that's what TSP, right? You have limited investment options. IRA, on the other hand, you, you have almost unlimited investment options. You can do ETFs, you can do uh, mutual funds, index funds, actively managed mutual funds. You could do individual stocks. You can't really do individual stocks in TSP. And the other thing about the Roth IRA is anytime you put money into the IRA, Roth IRA, what you directly contribute to the Roth IRA if you're under the income limit, you can take that money out at any time. No penalties, no taxes. You can't do that with the TSP. So I always balance that out in between. Okay, When I was active duty, I always did raw, uh, TSP 5% to get that 5% match. And I pause there and I keep doing the 5% to get that match. And then I go back and do the Roth IRA and just max out my Roth IRA contribution. And then I go back to the TSP and contribute more to like 10%, 15% to increase my contribution. That's the way I did it because I always liked the idea of having a Roth IRA. So, you know, if there's an absolute emergency that I need to take money out for whatever reason, there's always that Roth IRA option. So hopefully that kind of answers your question. Um, and there I have like full tutorials on my uh, on my channel. You can always check out the uh, Roth IRA uh, full tutorial, and you can look at the uh, how to do the backdoor Roth IRA if you're over the income limits, right? Biggest uh, misconception that I keep seeing is the uh, oh, if I have a four hundred one k, I I can't open a Roth IRA. That is not true at all. Okay, you if you have a four hundred one k, you can always open an IRA. 401k, TSP, 403b, those are tied up with your employer. So you can contribute to your 401k, TSP, your TSP, as long as you're employed with the federal government. The IRA, on the other hand, that you can always contribute to the Roth IRA as long as you have an earned income. It has to be an earned income. Your dividend income doesn't count. Your retirement income doesn't count. You have to be actively uh, employed. Okay, the, that's the biggest difference.